Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is The Cyclops, one of the more grotesque of the 1950s monsters, courtesy of Mr. Big. Uh, that's Bert I. Gordon, uh, a guy who specialized in big things. Big birds, big ants, big spiders, big people, anything big. He liked to blow things up big. And uh, didn't usually have much money to do it, uh, but he did have, uh, he was resourceful and uh, he managed to make a number of pictures in this decade. Oddly, his two best pictures, uh, the uh, Mad Bomber and Necromancy, don't have any special effects in them, so go figure. Anyway, here's the trailer. Bert Gordon's pictures were generally underfunded, and uh, the way he worked around that was, uh, particularly with this picture, is he has a very small cast, and he's only got three locations. He's got Bronson Canyon, he's got the Arboretum, uh, and uh, downtown Olvera Street, which is supposed to make us think the whole picture is taking place in Mexico. Uh, the idea here is that uh, Gloria Talbot is taking these adventurers to find her brother, who has disappeared in a, uh, a site that is very radioactive, and guess what? Uh, it makes you big. The uh, famous voice actor Paul Fries, who seldom was billed uh, at this time, actually gets a pretty big card on this movie because uh, he does the voice of the Cyclops, who, surprise, is the girl's brother. He's, unfortunately, I've always found the picture kind of depressing because he basically moans and groans through the entire picture. Uh, and the Cyclops is a really sad, unhappy, <laughs> grim monster uh, who we kind of feel sorry for, uh, which doesn't help much when he gets, uh, you know, his only remaining eye uh, stuck with a uh, javelin. Gloria Talbot tells a story that when they got to the Arboretum to go into the water, they tried to go in, but uh, it, it was all uh, solid because of the uh, layers and layers of duck poop that had accumulated over the years. And apparently they had to go in with the chainsaw and uh, cut out areas where the actors could wade. So, um, you know, for, so much for glamour. Uh, anyway, this was a dry run for Burt Gordon's next picture, a much more successful one, called The Amazing Colossal Man. The screen has ever shown Crashing into this world of horror, a beautiful woman and three adventurers dare to challenge the unknown in a land where life and love is ruled by the Lord of Nightmares, the Cyclops. 